Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. When we last left off, we had to uh, end the game um, due to more bugs. However, I have loaded the game and got us back to the cemetery. And hopefully, fingers crossed, no promises, we will be able to complete it this time. Which would be wonderful, because we've been stuck on this quest now for three videos due to bugs. So, oh, well, you know, that's slightly unfair. We've been stuck on this video due to bugs and procrastination. Which is, you know, fairly standard for me. Uh, never mind. However, it does look like all of our zombie friends have got their um, uh, heads back. Which is awfully convenient, if I say so myself. Okay, now, let's... Now they've all got their heads back. <laughs> let's see... We need to get like five zombies together. And when we have five zombies together, we need to try and get their headshots. Ooh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go for undead bait. Oh, okay, they're burning themselves. Which is a little bit awkward. There isn't actually five there either, which is kind of problematic. Never mind, we shall take our Revolver of Justice. It's kind of interesting, actually, the fact that uh, you can only kill enemies with headshots. So I guess it doesn't really matter too much what weapons you prefer. Although, a shotgun would be preferable. Some kind of pump action with a fairly deep magazine would be rather nice. However, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm assuming we are actually going to get one. Whoops. Oh, no. Damn it. We're always killing these guys, John. That's kind of what we do. We're here to do the Lord's work. Aha. Shotgun of justice. Works every time. At least most of the oh, most of the time. Was that guy a bruiser? I don't think he was. I think he was just a big zombie. Wow. There's a lot of zombies. That's okay. Let's go for the undead bait. Like so. And when we use the undead bait, we can also use L fire bottle. Come on, John. Whilst we're young. And whilst we use the fire bottle, we can then possibly use this? Is there five zombies on fire? There is not, I don't think. Uh, that's... Are you on fire, sir? I don't think you are. Well, the theory's there. It's just... Uh, oh, hello. It's just doing it in practice. That's the challenge. Getting enough Zeds on fire at once is the problem. It's probably going to be one of those things that you kind of... Oh, hello. Jimmy Saint. That's not very Saint-like, is it? You are going to have the time... Oh, we've got a spitter. We need spitters. Oh, things are going badly. Things are indeed going badly, guys. Uh... When in doubt, get the undead bait out. Hey guys, there you go. Go have fun, buy the undead bait, if you wouldn't mind. Is that good? That is good. Have some TNT. Because I'm generous like that. Well that made a mess. Barely enough to scrape off your boot. And there, the last graveyard falls. Cleansed by John's overwhelming firepower. Well, <laughs> it's frustrating with these bugs, but it is possible. It's not like they're totally game-breaking. They're just annoying. Now, this is a new low. I'm getting some bullets, which is nice. Oh yeah, we were going to get the map, weren't we? I remember. We certainly could go get the, the treasure map. We 
which is one of our challenges after all. Ooh, we're in a church. My skin. Mm, it burns. Let's go. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, where is our horse friend? Let's go. See, luckily, I have marked on the map. That is where we need to go. Let's get our first treasure chest. Now, I'm not sure if we get the second map in the treasure uh, chest container. Or if we have to find that separately. I guess, Milados, we're going to find out. And then we'll go see Seth. Have a bit of a chin wag with him. See how, uh, ask him how his uh, missus is and all that stuff. Hopefully he hasn't had his face horribly eaten. Having said that, I mean, I mean, eating Seth, uh, even for a zombie, that's pretty low. Um, you know, I mean, these these individuals are probably not the cleanest uh, lads and lasses in the realm. You know, being the Wild West and all that. But Seth, well, Seth takes it to a new level. I don't think he would even know what a bathhouse is, uh, to be quite frank. He might understand a mud bath. Or a bath in uh, zombie blood, maybe. Ah, or rotten are. meat. But, ooh, doesn't say it's very nice. Imagine that, bathing in rotten meat juice. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think that's more Seth's cup of tea. Damn, there are these flowers everywhere. Usually I don't stop and pick the flowers, but considering they actually have a fairly decent use now, might as well. Although, wild fever dew, I don't think that gives us anything. Oh, hang on. Thinking about that. Isn't it the wild fever dew? Uh, we can make zombie bait somehow, can't we? Yeah. I'm sure. You build blunderbuss ammo. Oh, that's interesting. Undead eyes, minus 17. Undead tongues. It's a lot of undead ribs we just used. I didn't realise we could stockpile ammo like that. So now we've got 20. Can we do it again? Not enough, no. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, I thought we could actually make the undead bait. I guess not. I thought um, Mr. West Dickens gave us the recipe for that. Am I mistaken? Let's go. I might be mistaken. Never mind. I guess it's not that important. Now, I have no idea what we're going to get from the treasure chests. I'm assuming it's probably just ammo, but I'm hoping we're going to get a weapon. That would be really nice. And if we don't get the map there, I have no idea where we get the next map from, so I'm going to have to look that up. Which, you know, isn't a big problem, but... I'm going to turn my heater off as well, because it's about a thousand degrees in here. Oh, somebody's crying. Not our problem, though. Come on. I do like Armadillo. Armadillo is a great town. Tiny town, but a great one. It's about the size of Truro. Armadillo probably has more in it than Truro, to be fair. Truro is kind of a sad town, considering it's the capital of Cornwall. It's, um, hmm. I was having this discussion the other day, actually. Truro had four post offices at one point. Uh, and one by one, they shut them all down. And now, our only post office is out the back of a, of a store called WH Smiths. And uh, WH Smiths sells magazines and stationery, that kind of thing. So it kind of makes sense. But it's just weird, the capital of uh, Truro just has one tiny little post office that isn't even its own building. Well, that's Cornwall for you. Now, how close are we? Wow, we've still got a fair old jog yet. 
only they made these roads a little bit more direct. But, you know, then the map would only be about five, uh, five minutes travel time from any point. Which, I don't think I'd be that bummed out by that, to be honest. I think they do stretch the travel time out a little bit in this game, but, you know. At the same time, traveling around in this game isn't like a big chore. It is a lot of fun at times. Hello, Miss McFarlane. Sorry about your father. He was a bit of a lazy ass anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. At least I think he was a lazy ass. Hard to remember. I don't think this horse's stamina is getting any better either. I'm pretty sure in the original game, um, their stamina yeah. did improve the more you stuck with the horse. I think, anyway. Ooh, hello. So we're going up here. Uh, if you could get a bit of a jog on, Mr. Horse, I'd appreciate it. Wow. This is some tunnel. Gee, I hope a train doesn't come along. That'd be really sad. Look how our stamina is draining. It's better be worth it, that's all I can say. Oh. Oh. Why is it taking us up there? Do we... Hang on. That doesn't seem right. That does not seem right at all. Do we have to go up here? That doesn't seem likely. Come on. Although, I don't know. That's a bit strange. Surely we don't have to run up there. Surely not. Now we can bloody move. That's more like it. Yeah, you can't run very fast in that tunnel either, which is a bit of a pain. There has to be somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, buddy. Come on, Sparkles. Power of the Norse gods is with you. Or something. I am unsure if we're in the right place, to be honest, guys. I am not sure. I am not convinced. Because where we need to go is up there. Is it actually underground? Hmm. Ah, this is looking a little bit more like it. Yeah, okay. This might be it. Might be me getting confused. Which, you know, is quite a likely thing. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. There we go. That's what we wanted. That was kind of, um, hmm, kind of an adventure. All right. So here is our secret pile of stuffs. What do we have? Uh, I would like to take a look at it, friendo, but what is it? What's that paper? Was that another map? So we've got the rank one. Got revolver ammo. Shotgun ammo, which is nice. Oh. Seriously? Is that all we get? 
and I guess a survivalist map. Now, I guess that's the treasure map that we've already... Oh, no. So, we do actually get the second treasure map. Ah, okay. That's cool. Hmm. So, where would that be? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go and uh, talk to Seth. I have a feeling that this isn't going to be a very hard uh, hard one to get, to be honest. Get up to rank 5. In all fairness, I was thinking the biggest challenge with this one was going to be finding the uh, maps. But if we just get them in each lockbox, that's actually quite cool. Very convenient. Right, now, that was a massive pain in the ass to get to. Let's go. But, hopefully it'll be worth it. I don't know what you get, actually, for getting the, the completing the challenges. I mean, I'm assuming we're going to get a nice, juicy achievement. Oh, God. You know what? That's fine. It matters not if Sparkles dies. Sparkles is expendable. Yeah, there's a plant back there, but who cares? Right, onwards to Seth. I bet Seth is... Okay, he's not super far away, I suppose. So we can't run very fast over uh, train tracks, which kind of makes sense, I suppose. Can't be very comfortable for our horse friend here to run across. If you think about it. All that wood and metal. I would imagine it'd be quite a trip hazard as well. So when you think about it, it's actually quite nasty of us to uh, <laughs> expect sparkles here to uh, run across it. Because, you know, one one small slip and uh, good old sparkles would have a broken leg. And that would mean sparkles would go to the glue factory. Which I don't mind. You know, that's fine. Um, but I think sparkles might have something to say about that. You know, if you could talk, of course. Probably along the lines of, please, sir, I don't want to go to the glue factory. And then we could say, but Sparkles, I'm sorry, good chap, but the children need glue. And Sparkles would be saying, okay, what do the children need uh, need glue for? Uh, and And we could explain. You know, the, um, the special needs kids need glue in school to eat. And then Sparkles would understand his, uh, his role in life, you know? The universe, one could say, would open up to him. And he would finally understand that he has no choice but to accept his fate of the glue factory. And all because we asked dear old sparkles or well forced really you know uh dear old sparkles to run uh, along the train tracks and let's be honest the special needs kids are the real winners here um hello um okay this raises further questions Seth, sorry to interrupt your party. Hey, John, come join us. We're having a jig. <laughs> John, have you met Mary Lou? What about Francie? <laughs> did as you asked and cleared out the rest of the graveyards. Doesn't seem to have done much good. Good? 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 Is dead good? Are you good? <laughs> Stop with your nonsense, you annoying fool. What's going on? The world's turning, John Marston, and the moon, the moon. with it. Woohoo! <sighs> Day follows night, and hate follows love. Oh. Okay, you asked for it, Seth. 
You either stop dancing and start talking, or prepare to join Moses and the rest of these freaks. Are you mm. constipated, John? <laughs> you get constipated when you're angry. <laughs> yes, you uh. do. I'm warning you, Seth. Oh, I'm warning you, Seth. I'm warning you. Don't play with the undead, Seth. Don't chase treasure. Don't waste your time searching for treasure and discover only a glass eye. <laughs> glass eye. Well, warn all you want, cowboy. Um. Did he really just eat the, the glass eye? Well, that's a load off my mind. Why didn't I think about that before? Because you weren't dancing. Hey, John. Well, how are you? Would you like a drink? We got blood. Ooh, supply. yum, yum, yum. Come on, Seth. What is going on? Aztecs, or or Incas, or or it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's all the same. Once every two hundred years, this land is doomed. <laughs> That's why we love it. Mexico, Mexico, John. <laughs> ah, Mary Lou, may I have the honor? Oh. You're a sick man. Yes, he is. But he does have a certain mastery. Oh, an achievement. He does have a certain mastery of the undead. Judge a man by the... Yes. Well. So, I guess we're going to Mexico. Can we kill his uh, zombies? I mean, no, we can't. I was gonna say, it just seems like something we need to do. Cause this is this is tragic. But then I don't know, cause Seth's actually enjoying himself. All right, Sparkles. Let's get out of here. Yes, you did. Yes, she did. Right, Sparkles, let's get out of here. You still have a little bit to do before you are destined for the glue factory and make little Ralph Wiggum happy. Um, oh, wow, we have some, some distance to travel. American imperialism. It would probably be cheaper. Cheaper? Quicker. Yeah, if we just go to town on quick travel, it'd be much quicker. Well, I say much quicker. Yeah, yeah, I think it would be much quicker. I mean, there is a small chance we'd encounter war on our travels, but... Yeah. There are only so many hours in the day, guys. Only so many hours in the day. And I'm kind of looking forward to getting to Mexico. <gasps> and in Mexico, there's another horse we can find. And that means... Right, here's Thieves Landing. And that means we can finally send Sparkles to the glue factory. And I'm okay with this. And we're on fire. Not that John really cares about being on fire, which is very impressive. But then he is a manly man. So, you know. I guess we could save the game, just in case we need to load. The music in this game is fantastic as well. Right, so where's the closest town to where we need to go? I guess we could just go to Plainview. Yeah. Okay. It's a Plainview. Um, there we go. To plain view it is. And I don't know if loading uh, actually upsets the game. But then the game does so little loading. Uh, probably not. Right. Or actually, I wonder if loading would reset the game. 
which I'm pretty sure it doesn't, which is unfortunate. Ah, coffee, lifeblood. Now, let's go. Let's get out of here. Now, the quests in this game as well, like the main quests, are incredibly enjoyable. Very, very much so. Ooh, something sounds angry. And if it's angry, that probably means it's bitey. Ooh, dogs. Last thing we need now is dogs up our butt. Ooh, some nice wild horses here. However, I think they're undead horses. Which, although they have unlimited stamina, they kind of like wobble all over the place. Yeah, you can... Ooh. 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 What have we got here? We've got lots of plants. We need plants. Lovely. Got a lot of sage. But it's not sage, it's the other one. That we don't have a lot of. Oh, hello. Easy there. Oh, hello, guys. Hello, hello. Concentrate, John. Concentrate, John. Concentrate. Oh, that kind of worked. Damn. We have one or oh god, okay. You know what? Let's go for some undead bait. And check out stuff over there. And then let's have a fire bottle. We put one there. Uh I have literally no idea what just happened. For some reason we just Come on. Right, so you, you. Come on. You. 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 Did we get the achievement? Did we get the rank? I'm going to say we did not. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, one dead eye meter. Okay. That sadly did not go to plan. Look, buddy, can you fuck off? Thank you. And you. I have no time for your bullshit. Undead ribs, which is nice. And now we've got the flipping dogs. Because of course we have. Bloody mongrel bastards. I mean, I love dogs. But not the undead variety. Sorry, lady. About how things turned We're not sorry about how things turned out, John. We've lost quite a lot ourselves, you know. There we go. Revolve ammo. I don't think he's going to come alive again, John, because he has no brain. If they have no brain, they generally don't come back to life. At least that's how I understand it. I could be wrong. Um, now, where is Sparkles? Come on, Sparkles. <laughs> Gee, Sparkles, I, I thought you up and went to the glue factory all by yourself then. Yeah. I was going to be disappointed in you. Ah, this is where we need to go. Right, let's have a little look in here. And then, my friends, we will call it... Oh, God. Him again. Oh, I hate you, Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston. What's going on? You got a passage into Mexico? Uh, for me, no. But for you, maybe. 
Uh, it all depends on your relationship with good old Uncle Samuel. What are you talking about? Well, uh, the border is indeed closed. But the army is sending a train down there. Now, whether it's to help the Mexicans there or to escape the problems here, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but I thought things were better in Mexico. Yeah, uh, well, uh, better or worse, it's uh, certainly different. <laughs> so why am I going and not you? Ah, well, that's a matter of age, dear boy. The army don't have many recruits with quite my level of experience. <laughs> so... So, you are on your own. <laughs> There's a train at uh, Benedict Point, and it's leaving soon once they've got all of the soldiers rounded up. Okay. And uh, your venerable friend here has done some more help. I have found some less than happy campers who have given up on glory and abandoned Uncle Sam's ranks. Uh, they're hiding out at Scratching Post. One of them might give you a uniform. <laughs> okay. What about you? Ah! Baghdad, mm. boy! <laughs> well, either that, or Fort Mercer, or perhaps it's time to meet my maker with drool coming out of my mouth and a lust for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself. I always do, dear boy. He is a strange man. I can't help but notice I didn't see his carriage anywhere. Well, I guess he's not dead. So, go to the deserters camp, eh? Well, that is something we certainly can do. Anyway guys, that's going to have to wait until the next video, so thank you very much for watching as always, till next time.